This Russian girl transformed from zero Chinese to the female lead in the Chinese blockbuster in just eight months. This is how we did it. By the way, I'm Rita A.K. Fan Lao Shi, your excellent coach and Chinese teacher. I designed a Chinese pronunciation roadmap that you can get for free at the link below. Na Ran is a rising star in China thanks to her amazing acting in the Chinese epic fantasy film Feng Shen. As the lead actress, she did road shows with appearances and interviews in front of tens of thousands of Chinese viewers all over China after the movie premiered last year. And Chinese people have even said that when they watched the movie, they had no idea she wasn't Chinese. But when I first met her in 2018, she couldn't put together a single Chinese sentence and she could barely understand anything that I said. Her previous tutor made her focus on handwriting Chinese characters, reading words and sentences in the textbook, but never letting her speak anything. It was at the same time that her young actor training camp for the movie was about to begin, and in the next four months, she'd have acting and martial arts classes with other native Chinese talents, 100% in Mandarin Chinese. So when we started our tutoring class, we focused on learning and drilling basic words and sentence structures for basic communication, especially on listening and speaking skills. She needed to understand her other teachers as soon and as much as possible. We specifically focused on human body parts and action verbs that are not usually what beginner learners would need to learn. After 4 months and 8 to 10 hours of class per week, she went to full Chinese classes without an interpreter, could chat with her classmates about simple experiences and feelings without too many difficulties, and did a lot of Chinese tongue twisters, and even long paragraphs of classic Chinese stage plays along with other actors. While her listening and speaking improved drastically, her pronunciation and fluency were still not ideal. <laughs> this makes sense. To help her blend into classes and local life as quickly as possible, we sacrificed something that was as important if not more important in her future learning. That all changed in the next couple of months when we moved to the filming studio complex in Qingdao and started working on the movie for real. Now when it comes to pronunciation, there are a bunch of sounds in Chinese that don't exist in other languages, let alone tones. You have to learn how to pronounce them where your tongue is, what shape your lips are, and how much to open your mouth. Plus, where most people fail is that you also have to train your 100 plus mouth muscles, vocal cords, and ears to internalize all of them. It's definitely trainable, even if you are 70 years old. But for most people, figuring out alone can be overwhelming. So if you want to take out all the guesswork and follow one single system that really works, my Mandarin pronunciation bootcamp starts on February 12th. Based on the principles I went through with Naran, the bootcamp can walk you through every single sound of Mandarin Chinese in my Find Your Mandarin Voice video course, which you'll get lifetime access to so you can review and practice anytime. What makes it work even better is our daily assignments with personalized feedback to ensure you are always on the right track and to hold you accountable. Plus, you'll have one-on-one -on -one pronunciation training with me every Sunday during our weekly live stream. We also cover the next phase beyond the individual tones, vowels, and consonants, which are sentence stress, intonation, and reductions, all the things that separate native sounding speakers from ordinary learners. Not only will this boost your confidence when speaking Mandarin, it will also help you hear natural speech clearly so you don't struggle to understand Chinese speakers anymore. Check out the link below to join before registration closes. I spent nearly a year there with the movie production team, training Na Ren and other foreign actors in the crew. In the first few days, the director came to our class and made a clear requirement. She needed to speak like a Chinese native or as close as possible for the movie. That's a really high standard given the fact that she had only studied Chinese for a few months. And that's when we started heavily focusing on pronunciation. We only had two months of intensive classes before the movie started filming, three to four hours per day, four to five days a week. Nearly half of the time was spent on pronunciation training, and the other half was for breaking down her movie lines and helping her understand the meaning, character story, history 
history and cultural background of the film. The movie is an ancient legend, so the language is more like classical Chinese and much more complicated than most movies. During the one to two hours of class each day, we honed every single line a hundred times a day. Easily. A hundred times? People may be surprised and it may sound like a lot, but if we really analyze how to say a sentence like a Chinese native, there are so many factors and layers that we can work on and polish. For example, the third tone is not low enough. Five more times. Hmm. The syllables are not connected. Ten times. Oh, wait, let's differentiate the mm and mm a little bit more. Ten more times. The rhythm is a little bit weird. Let's stress that word a little bit more. Now the intonation is a little bit flat. Add some more emotion to it. The ju sound is a little bit off when speaking fast. Let's do it all over again. It was very unusual learning process for Naran and a special teaching experience for me. We worked on extremely intensive pronunciation training, plus intermediate vocabulary and grammar, and super advanced reading at the same time. <laughs> It seemed like an impossible mission, but Na Ren worked and practiced so hard, and I tried my best back then to guide and instruct, and the results were amazing. I'm very happy. Within a couple of weeks, not only could she say her lines confidently and naturally when rehearsing with other movie stars, but her overall pronunciation, listening, and speaking transformed entirely as well. What impressed me the most was during these few weeks of intensive pronunciation training, I literally saw a visual change in the muscle lines around Naran's mouth. My theory is that it was mostly because of our XJQ and the Xu Ju Chu sound training. These are the Chinese sounds that we need to pucker our lips tightly for. Ju, Chu, Xu. So she used different facial muscles that she may have never used before learning Chinese. So after enough drilling, her mouth, lips, and cheeks just looked different when she spoke. And that's the moment when I realized, wow, Speaking good Mandarin is so much about muscles. Before this experience, I had taught Mandarin in the best language programs in China and colleges in the US, and I had met enough intermediate and even advanced students who were so frustrated with their tones and pronunciation. The same things that stopped them from understanding and speaking with natives effectively. I always wondered how I could help them with retraining the pronunciation habits that they had for years. I found the answer in my first eight months of working with Naran, and my step-by-step -step training system started to develop. Proper pronunciation training is so crucial since Chinese is a tonal language, and it doesn't matter which level the student is at currently, because after her intensive training, the rest of Naran's Chinese learning journey became much more effective, efficient, and easier. Since she formed good habits for her mouth muscles and vocal cords by producing sounds and tones during her two months of intensive training, we didn't need to worry or even think about her tones or pronunciation much afterwards. And we went back to more normal Mandarin Chinese classes where we kept expanding her vocabulary and grammar knowledge from day-to-day -day life to more in-depth topics and areas. <laughs> 因为我从零开始学中文，然后同时要跟其他同学们学一些比较高级的一些词和啊礼仪课，阿迪普斯什么莎士比亚，对，用中文去学习，对，这个挺难的。Just like pronunciation, it takes time to know what it is and how to do it, but it takes so much more time to use the knowledge of sounds, words, sentence patterns and expressions correctly and freely in real conversation. It can only be accomplished through repeatedly using, correcting, and internalizing the knowledge just like any other musical or sports skill. And compared to endless words, sentence structures, and fixed expressions, the sound system is the most limited. An intensive and well-structured training of the mouth and the ears is what all Mandarin learners can benefit from in the long run. All this can be achieved in a fairly short period of time, 
like two or three months. Nan Ren is certainly super motivated to learn Chinese for her career in China. Living in an immersive language environment around the clock and collaborating with native Chinese speakers has given her intensive exposure to natural language. However, what has truly enhanced her ability to comprehend various dialects and accents and to communicate effortlessly with anyone she encounters in China is her patience, unwavering commitment to the learning process, and her willingness to repeat things countless times. I hope you learned something from her story. Hit the like button and share your experience in the comments. And remember, with Fan Lao Shi, Chinese makes perfect sense. See you all in the next video.